Through the prophet Isaiah, the Lord declared, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways. And such is the case in Genesis 48, as we see God doing things differently than expected and outside of the cultural norms of the day. Jacob is nearing the end of his life. It's time for him to pass on his blessing to his sons. So Joseph went to visit his father, taking his sons, Manasseh and Ephraim, with him. But when Joseph came before him, his sons, Jacob's grandsons, received his blessing. Each received a blessing just as Jacob's own sons would. Interesting that Jacob said they would receive a blessing like Reuben and Simeon, his two oldest sons, the ones who would normally receive a special or a favored blessing. And then as Joseph positioned his sons for the blessing, the eldest Manasseh at Jacob's right hand, the place of favor, and the youngest Ephraim at his left, Jacob crossed his arms and gave his blessing. He blessed the younger over the older. That wasn't the way it was supposed to happen. And Joseph protested, telling Jacob he gave his favored blessing to the wrong boy. But in verse 19, his father refused. I know, my son, I know, he replied. Manasseh will also become a great people, but his younger brother will become even greater, and his descendants will become a multitude of nations. So Jacob blessed the boys that day with this blessing. The people of Israel will use your names when they give a blessing. They will say, may God make you as prosperous as Ephraim and Manasseh. In this way, Jacob put Ephraim ahead of Manasseh. What's the message for you and I today? Our God is a sovereign God. His perspective is much different from ours. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Let's be flexible and obedient to the Lord today, and ask God to accomplish His will through us.